a beautiful and glorious morning to each and every one of you who has tuned in. Hallelujah. Today is Saturday, April the 24th, and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, Do Not Be East in Zion. Our opening scripture is from the book of Amos, chapter 6, verse 1, and I read, Woe to them that are at ease in Zion, and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations, to whom the house of Israel came. There are those of us who have learned the truth, we have received the word, and through the word we have triumphed every day, living a wonderful and fulfilling life. However, we must still give attention to helping those who haven't known the truth yet, those who have not understood the word of God yet. We have got to care about our brothers and sisters all over the world, especially those in prison or experiencing all kinds of hardships. Until and unless we have brought them in, it is not over. It is not over as long as Satan is deceiving others and seeking to destroy lives. We cannot be at ease in Zion. Read the Lord's touching words in Amos chapter 6 verse 6. You drink wine by the bowlful and use the finest lotions, but you do not grieve over the ruin of Joseph. When you hear about churches being burnt or priests or pastors and ministers being incarcerated unjustly because of their commitment to the gospel, do not act like it doesn't concern you. Get on your knees and pray. Do not think only of yourself. Until the name of the Lord Jesus is celebrated in every country, it is not over. Be it those in the presidency or in the prime minister's office or among monarchs, etc. We have to realize that God has given us an assignment to pray for them and reach them with the gospel. We have to bring others into peace, love and joy that God has given us. Otherwise, our job is not done. So, keep preaching and teaching others God's word. Keep interceding for men and women all around the world to come into God's light and righteousness. And at the end, you can boldly affirm, I fought a good fight. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, my brothers and sisters, kindly raise your holy hands and take this prayer right after me. Blessed Lord, by your spirit, you are refining the mind of your children around the world, bringing them into deeper knowledge and understanding of your word. As we, your children all over the world, teach and preach your truth today, there's a mighty harvest and many are translated from darkness into the glorious liberty of the sons of God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now to further understand today's message, I kindly and strongly recommend that you study these following scriptures from the book of Philippians chapter 3 verses 13 to 14 and the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Hallelujah. Tune in again tomorrow for another beautiful message from our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni 
dot m s i a at gmail dot com. That's t n i dot m s i a at gmail dot com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.